do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter gene its nature expression and regulation in that we are studying topic chemical components of nucleic acid today we will be studying what is dna which is nothing but nucleic acid present inside your cell what dna basically consists of when i say chemical components of nucleic acids it means that what are different structures that together come up and dna molecule is made dna is nothing but your nucleic acid why it is called as nucleic acid because it is present inside the nucleus of the cell and dna is your genetic material now basically we all know the structure of dna that it is double stranded helically coiled runs 5 prime to 3 prime and 3 prime to 5 prime anti parallel complementary all of those things but there are three major important things of which dna consists of and those three things are basically the pentose sugar or you can say the five carbon sugar second is the phosphate backbone and third is the nitrogen bases let's talk about the nitrogen bases there are four different types of nitrogen bases which is present inside your dna molecule and this four different types of nitrogen bases are adenine guanine thymine and cytosine now basically always a pairs with t that is adenine pairs with thymine and it forms double bond this bond double bonds are nothing but hydrogen bonds which are easy to break whereas your guanine and cytosine will form triple bonds and they are little difficult to break as compared to adenine and thymine and they are also hydrogen bonds so these are your nucleic acids which consist of nitrogen bases now inside your dna the nitrogen bases are a t and g c whereas inside your rna except of thymine which is present inside your dna your rna will have uracil in the place of that that is just the basic difference in nitrogen bases in both dna and rna now let's come to phosphate backbone in the structure of dna you have seen that there is a phosphate attached which is nothing but h3po4 minus now this phosphate basically gives polarity to your dna molecule provides stability to dna molecule during the process of replication and we all know that atp consists of phosphate at the end this phosphate is a high energy molecule lastly sugars that is dna basically has ribose sugar now your sugar could be ribose or it could be pentose sugars are nothing but monosaccharides which are not of five carbon atoms now in dna and rna the sugars are high energy molecule and there are slight differences in the sugars both in dna and in rna that is the difference of hydrogen atoms or oxygen atoms for example the sugar ribose and deoxyribose we all know the full form of dna is deoxyribose nucleic acid whereas for rna it is ribose nucleic acid so inside dna the sugar which is there it will be deoxy that is it will consist of oh and h group that is one of the o group from the ribose sugar will be removed whereas inside rna the sugar will be ribose both the oh group will be present that's the basic difference ribose sugar and deoxy ribose sugar together all the three nucleic acids that is phosphate group your ribose sugar and your nitrogen bases it could be any one of them a t g c are attached on every place or at distinct locations on your dna and give that dna that particular formation or polarity
chemical components of nucleic acid or you can say the molecules which are present upon DNA. Now three types of nucleic acid or components that are present on DNA are your pentose sugar, your nitrogen bases and the phosphate group H3PO4 minus. Pentose sugars are nothing but monosaccharide. It means they are carbohydrate containing molecules with five carbon atoms or you can say they are pentamers of monosaccharides. Now pentose sugar can be of two different types depending upon whether they are present in DNA or in RNA. In DNA they are deoxyribose. When I say deoxyribose it means D means removal. So one oxygen atom is removed which is in DNA whereas in RNA both the oxygen atoms are present. That is why RNA is called as ribose nucleic acid and DNA is called as deoxyribose nucleic acid. Now the different kinds of nitrogen bases available are divided into two types. First are purines and second type is pyrimidine. Now purines basically include adenine, guanine, whereas pyrimidines include cytosine and thymine. Inside nitrogen bases A pairs with D always that is adenine pairs with thymine and guanine pairs with cytosine forming hydrogen bonds respectively AT forms double bonds, GC forms triple bonds. Now RNA will have four different kinds of nitrogen bases which is adenine, uracil, guanine and cytosine. Whereas your DNA will have nitrogen bases respectively adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine. This is a structure of a respective nucleotide which will be present as one unit on a DNA. It consists of phosphate which forms the backbone of the DNA and helps to give the negativity to the DNA. The sugar or you can say the monosaccharide which is made up of five carbons as you can see it is a pentamer and to it are attached nitrogen bases. Now this nitrogen bases can be any one of this. It could be T, it could be A, G or C. Students, in this part of the chapter, we have studied about nucleic acids and all the three types of nucleotide. We have studied what are the three types of nucleotides that were present on the surface of DNA. I hope you all are clear about this concept. Thank you.